Hello everyone. It is Nikhat Afrin from the Bright Champ team. Hope you guys are doing well. Today I'm going to show you, I want to show you how to make a tower defense game by using scratch platform. A game where uh, enemies will follow the path and uh, you have to shoot the enemy. And we will break it in three parts. First, you have to make a path uh, for the enemies okay, to follow. So let's get started. So I'm in scratch platform right now. I will go to create option. Okay. So for tower defense scheme, the first thing that you need to do, you have to draw an enemy. You have to draw a backdrop. So I'm going to delete the cat over here. Now let's design the backdrop. So for the backdrop, I'll draw the path. So for that, I will go to the line tool and I will draw one line because I want my path like this. Let's make it 14. Okay, so now it's working. So here it is. I'm making a line like this. Okay. Now I'll go to reshape because I want my line uh, something like that. I will turn it. And you can use uh, these arrows to make the path like this. We'll make a straight line. Now I will again turn it. So this way you have to draw the path by using the reshape tool. Now what I'll do. You just need to keep calm and you just need to draw the lines. Okay, and here it is. Okay, and here we go. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. Now, what I'll do, I will I want to make it like a bath, so I will just increase the thickness. And I want to make it 70. Yeah, 70 is fine. I want to move it like a little bit more like this. So that it will touch the edge. Okay. Now I want to change the color of this part, so I will go to fill color option and I want to make it like a little bit uh, in brown shade. I will go to the bucket option and I will put it, yeah it's not like a brown, let's make it more in brown shade. perfect now i want to make a grass like uh, background so i will put green color here so i will choose the green color and then i will make the background green and you have to disable the outline first and here it is and now I'll click on backward. So this is the path. Now let's add the enemy. Okay, let's add the sprite. So for the enemy, we have to uh, make a sphere. Uh, let's choose any color. The path is dark brown, so I will choose any light color to it. Uh, uh, yeah, yellow is fine. Now I'm gonna draw a circle.
and I'm going to put it here. Let's uh, reduce the size of the enemy. Let's make it 70. Yeah, 70 is perfect. If you want to reduce more, you can do it. I'll just keep it 65. Okay, so here we go. Now, I will draw a line. I will draw a line. I will draw another sprite. A line uh, which the enemies will follow inside the bath. So we have to create a line. So what I'll do, I will duplicate this path. I'll copy it and I'll paste it here. And I'm going to reduce the pen size. Uh, let's make it 8. And change the color into white so that it will be visible. Okay. Now it's white. Okay. First we have to go to the text. Okay, I'm gonna copy it again because I think it's got deleted. Yeah. Now I will change the color into white. And then I will reduce the thickness. I'll make it 8. Now it's perfect. Now I'm going to go to code option. And for this uh, white line, I want to put it inside the path. So I will add go to XY 0. 0. Or you can also write here 0, 0. So here it is. You can see the path. Uh, let's make it more. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm going to go to text and I will just increase the thickness a little bit more. Okay, so that's perfect. Now, the another thing that I will draw right now, two detection boxes. Okay, which will detect uh, that uh, the uh, the enemy, whether the enemy is uh, following the line or not. Okay, yeah. So now what I'll do next, I'll just duplicate the enemy. And then I'm going to create a rectangle box. For that, I'll choose blue color and I'll disable the outline. I'll zoom in and just like this. Okay, you have to put the rectangle right there, not at the center, okay, not above the center. I mean, sphere, you have to put it here, okay? Now, let's uh, copy this thing and paste it and put it just here it should be like this and for that i'll change the color for the another detection box now what i'll do i'll copy one by one and paste it for this one i'm gonna copy the blue one and paste it over here now I'm going to delete the sphere. Okay. Now from here also, we need to delete two detection boxes now. Okay. Now for this uh, detection, I want to rename it as blue detector. Red detector. Okay. Now, let's uh, do the coding now. So the first thing that I want to, uh, okay. I will choose the sphere first, okay. And then I want to start with when green flag clicked. Then I want to hide the sphere first. Okay, and then I will add repeat 10 times and then create clone of myself. 
create clone of myself means uh, to create the exact replica of any costume. Okay, that's why we are using it. Now, I will add weight 0.5 seconds inside it. Okay, now the another script is when I receive, when I, sorry, when I start as a clone. Then I want to add point in direction 90 degree. Point in direction 90 degree. And then I will add go to x, y. You can see the value for this sphere. You have to make sure uh, that where you want to put this sphere. Okay. And then according to that, you have to write the same. Yeah, now again, I will add the go to xy because I want the same xy value in it. Okay, so here it is. Now again, I will add show block. And then forever. Okay, now I'm going to create my blocks to move the enemy. So I will uh, name it as movement blow with an input speed and then i'm gonna drop the movement block inside the forever and i'll make it two now for the for to to make the enemy to move or to follow the path i will write the script below this defined block so first i'm gonna add move 10 steps and I will drag it here so it will it will be like move speed steps okay after that I will switch the costume to costume number one or you can see the costume number one is the red detector let me check again okay it's the blue detector so I will select blue detector now I will add the conditional blow that if the sphere touching the sprite tool then we will add turn anti-clockwise degrees so turn speed but we are going to add uh, the times operator we'll put it here and then we will put it like this so and the value will be two here again i'll duplicate it I'll put it down and this time I want this sphere to turn clockwise direction with speed two times and I'll change the costume into that detector. Now we are going to add set rotation all around and then we are going to switch the costume to costume number three. You can rename it as enemy so that uh, you will not get confused. Yeah, so it's enemy. Now again, we are going to add the conditional law that if X position will be greater than 239. So where are we going to uh, find the exposition inside the motion block? So we are going to add exposition. If exposition will be greater than 239, then we will delete this flow like that. Okay. Now let's run the program and see. Okay. So we have to make sure that we have to make sure if, if you are getting errors like this, then we have to check the speed again and we have to check the position of the sprite okay so let's check again okay it's pointing direction 90 degree correct when green flag clicked high to repeat and create clone of myself let's make it one second Okay, move speed steps, switch costume to blue detector and turn. 
okay and the and the most important thing important thing we have to do we have to make it like invisible so we have to add boost effect set boost effect to 100 for the for the line so that you'll click on green flag it will not be visible to us but we have to fix the error here okay so it it, it it's a little bit uh, a little bit uh, confusing because like uh, at the first time uh, this is uh, like uh, not possible to get the right uh, thing so you have to check the errors okay whenever you will get the error so let's uh, fix the error I have to check what is the error over here. Define movement speed. Okay, correct. Okay, so this is the error here, which I'm, I have added over here. I have to add anti-clockwise, not clockwise. And then I will drop it here. If you are still getting the error, then we have to check the we have to check the position here. Detector, red detector, and the sphere. It's got it. Let's uh, do one thing. Copy and paste it so that uh, I want to check the of the detectors okay let's keep it like this okay what I'll do I'll delete it because we have to fix uh, the position of the sprites the costume here we have to copy and then paste it copy again and then paste it okay now let's uh, check again okay that's perfect now what i'll do i'll go to costume back and for the third costume i will delete these detectors okay so this way you have to find out what I, what uh, changes you can do to function it properly Right, so here you can see it is creating uh, it is creating clone and it is following the path. So I will make it like 0 0.5 seconds. Uh, so now you can see the difference over here. Okay. Yeah. So that was all for today's session. Okay, I will do the next part in the next video. And in the next video, I'll show you how to place a tower and how to make a tower to shoot the animals. Okay. And I hope you enjoyed the class for today's session. If you have any doubts or any queries, please feel free to comment below uh, the section, the comment section. Okay. And I'll solve all of your queries. And also, please do like, share and subscribe to see these amazing videos every day. Thank you so much. Have a great day.